Hi there, Happy Garagers. I finally got the final piece I can get my stand to stop rocking for um, the circuit board repair that uh, I want to do. Now, this is mean I'm going to be adding circuit board repair to my uh, repertoire of, of channel content. Maybe, maybe not. I might put a thing here or there. This is not really garage content, I guess, but it is uh, something that interests me and really, in, in my eyes, uh, it helps with s sustainability, right? So there's, there's a big thing now, sustainability. Everybody, you got to get uh, everything new that's sustainable and green and blah, 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 which is... Well, horse crap. Uh, buying new items constantly is, is not sustainable. Um, being able to repair and maintain uh, items that you already own is, is actual sustainability for reasons like manufacturing. You know, they had to make one of these... Uh, this had to be made as you know the newer technology and it's all well and good I, I like progress but at the same time you know it's it's salesmanship we're being sold on something and people are going nuts for it because the salesmanship is is quite good they're they're quite the bullshit artists so Anyway, I'm going to unbox this. I, I took it out of the original packaging in uh, the site I bought it from. Yeah, they uh, they were nice enough to add the advertising right there on the side of the box for me. Circuit specialists. It wasn't a terrible site. Uh, they do need to update it. They, I don't think they have free shipping over $99, but I think free shipping is is going the way of I don't know, the dodo. What else went away? A lot of things. Uh, essentially, these guys driving the trucks and, and vans and stuff, they want to get paid. Let's just see what's in the box. We've got our operation guidance. A whole lot of product information. Features, how to how to read all this stuff. So that's uh, that's good. You're gonna need that. Gotta have Manuel. Manuel knows exactly what to do. And I wonder why they put a sticker there. This is probably made for Europe, uh, where they use uh, 50 hertz instead of 60. Just another country. I don't know what countries use it. But there are countries who use a, a 50 hertz, and you can kind of see it says 50 hertz down underneath the sticker. So, let's look at this rework station. Oh, that's, uh, that's a lot of things. I did not know what was in this box. So there's all the different tips, right? The, the hot air tips, because you can't use... We'll grab this. There's there's no real soldering iron that you use to get these tiny little resistors off of a board. Um, you essentially, just shoot hot air at it until the solder melts. So yeah, you got the uh, yeah different tip sizes. So that's that's nice. Um, get some of this foam out of the way. What else we got? Is this like a foot? No, that's the uh, the holder for the soldering iron. Got uh, some. Some cleaner, little sponge. Very nice things. Gotta find a place to put this all, I guess. And power cords. That's attached to the unit. Here's the main unit. Is it any good? Well, it's probably better than what I'm using now. And goodness, things, 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 things. Get this box out of the way, maybe. Uh, hopefully that's not broken now. 
it's fine. It was in the plastic bag. The uh, the air cushioned cushioned the uh, the fall the uh, the impact. So very a little soldering iron. And that's another cable it's kind of stuck. What is this? It's like a big, big air jet. I don't know what you use that for. Gonna learn. You're gonna have to to uh, read the manual. Let's see what Manuel has to say. And that's the, the little heat gun. It's just a little baby heat gun. Probably puts out a decent amount of heat. The power cord. And something else. Again, going to have to consult with Manuel. See what to use this for. And that's it. It's an empty box. So, off to the pile. And the same with the foam and the things. Pile. And next, last, last piece, last but not, not least. Uh, they didn't, uh, maybe I might have forgotten to order some of the fluxes and stuff. I thought I did. Get uh, this stuff out of the way. And we got a, a big mat again. Uh, they Reminding me when I'm working where I get uh, some of the tools from. All the nice advertising there. This is like a, from the back it looks like. Uh, one of the static free bags, so it, it could be a great big static free bag. I might have to keep it, make sure my my silicon mat stays static free. So that's uh, that's what I got. Things for circuit board rework. And again, it's just something I find in interesting. Uh, and I feel like I will use a couple times. Like I said, I do want to fix. I want to fix the little jump car uh, the charger if I can. Uh, if I can't fix it, I will definitely be learning a lot of things. And my little let me go. The little uh, I don't know what that does. There's no Manuel. No, uh, no Manuel to consult for the rubber mat. <laughs> and I, I'll also uh, be working on this, this key. All right, I want this to work. Now I could send it back to the, to the place I got it. It's probably under warranty. They, no, we'll send you another one that works. Well, you know what? It wasn't terribly expensive. I think it'd be a good learning experience, whether I can make it work or again just just learn things. It might become a donor board. We'll see. Only time can tell. But again, it's all in in sustainability. Is how sustainable is it for me to just keep sending these back when they shit the bed? Uh, things like Chrysler and their tipums, T I P M. Uh, these things are constantly going bad, and a lot of the symptoms are related to, I don't have anything on that board, uh, maybe on this one, no. Uh, either way, there's, so on these boards, you know, a tip them will have a, a board, looks similar to this uh, without those guys. And there'll be relays, there's a, re a couple relays on the other side of this. And the symptoms that they give are very consistent with either those relays going bad or uh, part of the control circuit going bad, which is not a terrible repair. You know, if, if you have the right tools, uh, pretty, pretty simple to extract the bad component, install a known good, and have a, have a piece ready to go on the way. Uh, what else do you need? Perhaps that I, I didn't buy. I have one. I inherited it. I think it came from an esthetician. Let's see if I can bring it over to the camera. 
instead of moving the camera because I have this fancy microphone. And I, I was going to buy one and I remembered like, oh, this thing's down in the basement. And that is, uh, can I turn it? There we go. This, you need a magnifying, what's it? And I think this will do the trick. Got a little light. Just find a way to mount it. Just got a, it's got a little stud on the bottom. So I'll mount that somewhere. Make a bracket. So exciting times for Happy Garage. Anyway, that's, that's about all the time I'm going to spend here. And hope you enjoy the, the tool opening, the box opening. Happy garaging, everyone.